Boy, does that stink. Well, you know what, I know what else stinks? Is having to wait three, four weeks to watch these episodes. Because if you're in Fresh Tracks Plus, if you're one of those subscribers, you'd already know how this episode ends. All you gotta do is go to freshtracks.tv. Oh, that stinks. Well, Michael, here's what we're doing. Okay. Since you got moose on the brain. Okay. I got elk on the brain still. Okay. So we're gonna go to that spot where that guy bugled three times, three different mornings. And if he's there, we'll go after him. If he's not, we're going moose hunting. All right. That work? Sure, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I thought you, I didn't know if you were gonna get up this morning. I just been doing the whole like get up, put your pants on, get in the truck thing, so. It don't take too long. I didn't wake up, but 10 minutes ago, so. so we know that. All right. That's all right. I promised Michael we'd drive up to this trailhead where all these ATV trails fork off. And if I didn't get this elk to bugle, we'd go moose hunting because he wants to moose hunt. I couldn't get him to bugle, so we're off to the, to the big moose willow flats. Let's go and find Michael one. Michael is so excited right now. I'm pretty jacked. Pretty excited. I mean, it's a moose tag. You don't get to do moose tag. You don't get to be on a moose hunt very often. Well, we could have ended it last night, right yeah. at camp. We, yeah, had, we had a moose, about a 35 inch bull, maybe 500 yards from camp. I think he's closer. Yeah. I, had, I ranged him in 99 yards, full round that to hunt. Yeah. And we could have dumped him right there. We're looking for a little bigger one. I think, right? You could have been uh, home dating with your girlfriend over the weekend. That's right, she, she can wait. Oh, did you hear that, Cassie? <laughs> <laughs> he was just joking. He has done nothing but spoke of glowing <laughs> remarks of you the whole week. And how much he missed here, How much he misses. Yeah, yeah I do, I do, and but it's a moose hunt. We can, go, we can go moose hunt for a couple of days. But when it was an elk hunt, he was ready to leave and yeah. go home. I well, know. He, all he would, he'd be on his phone, I love you, honey. <laughs> Last night, I finally had to tell him to turn the vibration part of his phone off. Because we'd be walking along here, and he'd stop. Yes, honey. I mean, uh, I got to give it to you, Cassie. I can ask him to do just about anything and be like, yeah, I'll get to it. And a week later, you get to that? Oh, yeah, yeah I'll get to it. You send him something that's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> He stops what he, he almost stops breathing to respond to your text. <laughs> All right, let's go. I've known him for four years. I've never seen him this head over heels in my life. In well, in four years, I guess. Now he's blushing. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, moose hunting. We go. I'm keeping good on my promise to Michael.
That's crazy. <laughs> We're here along a main highway. Glassing for moose on this ridge. It feels like, oh, there's a bull out crossing the road down there. Yeah, this is public right out here. Go see if you can call him in, Michael. <laughs> well, it, it crossed the other side of the creek, Michael. Oh. This uh, moose unit is not a wilderness unit. It's not this high country experience. It has a lot of willows, like you see out here in front of me, and a lot of roads. So you just drive to wherever some point gives you a little elevation, and you just glass, glass, and glass. Get in, drive to the next spot, glass, glass, glass. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, what would I call it? I mean, it's not road hunting, but it's a lot of vehicle usage, so. I <clears throat> I wish I could tell you it was, you know, like the hunt I did in British Columbia where we rode horses for days and hunted and ride and hunt and ride and hunt, but it's just not that way. But it's still going to be fun. Well, at this prime light, one thing we know based on what we've seen for moose, three cows and a bull, is that first hour of light and that last hour of light are the key parts. So we've given this an effort. We got a whole bunch of spots marked on our map that we're gonna go check out the rest of them. See if we can find Bullwinkle. Imagine if you only gave yourself two days to do this hunt. You'd need to get really lucky. Well, one thing you're going to see a lot of in this moose hunt is coming glass, move on, glass, move on, glass, move on. Just part of what it takes to cover enough ground. It's not like there's great big expanses of willows like you see maybe in Alaska or Canada. They're just these little bands along these rivers and creeks and stuff. And they're not really big. The moose move up and down them. And when you got super low densities of moose, you just gotta keep hopping around until you find where one of them are traveling through. Well, folks, folks were probably boring you to tears with this walking, glass, drive, walk, glass, drive, walk, glass. But I had to come here just for old time's sake because this hill right here, I skidded a buffalo up this hill. We shot him out there in those flats. We could have shot him over there right when he came out of the park, but we chased him down here into the roadless area and non-motorized area. So there's a snowmobile trail up here. Anything off the ledge of this is non-motorized. So we had to haul that buffalo out of here, which you don't think is a big deal until you start putting buffalo quarters on your back and you got 30 inches of snow and you're walking through all that stuff. And then we got to this hill and I had my ice fishing sled with the head and the cape on it. And we tried to push that thing up this slope 
with, I don't know, that much snow. Whew, that was bad. That was bad. But we got ourselves a buffalo. So if you're wondering why I'm attached to this place, shot a buffalo here. Hopefully I'll shoot a moose here. Shot lots of grouse here, lots of ducks here. I've never shot a deer here. And uh, I've shot a few elk, but it's been a long time since I've shot an elk in here. The elk numbers are just way, way down from what they were a long time ago. So. Makes me sound old. Yeah, back in the day, it was uphill both ways. Yeah. Back when Harry Truman was president. Oh well, let's go down and find some some moose that want to be on on the camera. Cause right now we aren't finding them. More ATVs. Well, we've checked all the obvious places this morning. Now we're gonna go check some of the less likely places. But I know there are moose in some of them. It's just more of a needle in a haystack kind of a opportunity. But you gotta go and turn over every stone, look around every corner. And uh, so we're gonna do. There's not a lot of moose. I mean, the densities in any unit for moose is always quite low. So just cover a lot of ground, cover a lot of ground, and hopefully you find one that's up on his feet looking for cows, starting to do his thing for the, the oncoming rut. So it's gonna be a big, long loop, probably gonna cover all the time we go 12, 20, that's 32. It's probably going to be a 50 or 60 mile loop. Oh well, maybe we'll find one. I don't know if a moose had big antlers in this wind. Wind catch it, it might tip him over. So far, we're having a rough day on our moose hunt. We've seen zero moose. We clouded up, it's gonna rain. Maybe that'll bring him out. I don't know what moose do in this kind of wind, but I'm gonna try to find out, see if we can locate one. They'll be out. I think they're just waiting for the sun to get a little lower. We went and tried some spots earlier today that were a complete dud. Just cross them off the map. But that's part of hunting, exploring, slash scouting, is sometimes you just gotta take your map that's this big and start crossing off the places that don't work and pretty soon you got a few little places that are gonna work. Sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't. Still got about another, I don't know, hour, maybe hour and a half of daylight. Let me go check some other spots. 
Maybe they're up on their feet finally. We can hear something kind of like breaking and grunting down in the dark timber here. So we're going to go grab the rifle, drop down there, and come in with the wind in our face.
one in there somewhere. You'd think, how can you not find a moose in there? The best thing we could have done, stayed up here until we located him. It's just hearing him. It doesn't look like it from above, but those willows are 12 to 15 feet tall. And it was just the noise that we were hearing, kind of like scraping and grunting. It was just moving out, like making circles trying to get our wind. Maybe that's what happened. He might have got our wind and just drifted off. I don't know. Maybe he's a smart old boy. And uh, if he's a smart old boy, maybe he's a big old boy. So guess where we'll be in the morning? Right here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow the weather is supposed to be an absolute train wreck. Rain mixed with snow. Strong winds high of 42 degrees. Today it was 70. Windy, the wind died down now, man. Maybe they'll be up on their feet all day tomorrow. Hopefully. Elk spaghetti. Elk spaghetti. Or, as Michael likes to say, spaghetti. His autocorrect isn't that good. <laughs> Watch it, watch it. You need two of those lighters, one to poop on, one to cover it up with. <laughs> <laughs> but usually they don't say poop. <laughs> you can thank Kenny Obermeyer for that statement. Some people call it a randyism, but it really was stolen from Kenny. We got her to a ball here. A ball. A ball. Ready? Yep. She's balling. Woo! That'll take the ball off it. I'll do one more of that. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I've been cooking it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now stir it up. Dale, you're probably going to want to double plate that. Mm, I already did. Looks like you did. I already mm. did. Ain't my first rodeo. It ain't my first rodeo. Ooh, me gusta. There you are. Yeah, yeah, rock and roll. I just didn't want to spill it over to the side I'll, for you. I'll get him. Thank All you. right. There we go, folks. That's pretty good. I mean, for being in a grizzly bear environment, you can't stink the joint up. Oop, about ready to lose that one. And you gotta cook in a trailer on a little stove. Guess we'll give it a passing grade. Tomorrow, the weather is supposed to go completely south on us. And, uh, strictly a moose hunting day. Supposed to be a high in like 40 degrees. Starting tonight, the wind's supposed to come in, temperature's supposed to drop, it's supposed to start raining at 4 a.m. And up to almost an inch of rain between 4 a.m. and noon tomorrow. That's moose hunting weather. That's not elk hunting weather. That's moose hunting, drop them with a rifle kind of weather. So, stay tuned. We got tomorrow, and then we got Monday morning. So we got a day and a half left. And, uh, not sure what'll come of that, but if you don't show up and you don't go out there, you're never going to find out. See you tomorrow.